Welcome to the Bet MGM Studio and Titans All Access. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Obviously, we are so excited coming off of Monday night's big win in Miami. So to celebrate, we have a very special edition of Titans All Access just for you. I have dubbed it Titans More Access. Oh, that is bad. It is bad. <laughs> We're going to show the great Titans fans some things they have not seen. You're right. And we have the opportunity to shoot a lot of great behind the scenes, but we rarely have the chance to show you more than just a tiny portion of the video. On this edition of Titans All Access, we will show you more. A lot more. <sighs> Let's start with Monday Night in Miami. Let's. The Titans claim the first win in the Brian Callahan era, and we want to show you some behind-the-scenes moments that you have not seen. So, if you saw the game, we want to show you more. Mike, you've got to stop. I don't know if I can. <laughs> but I can Gosh. pitch to this fantastic package after a fabulous win Monday night in Miami. Levis and the Titans are back at Hard Rock Stadium looking for more Monday night magic. Tennessee is looking for its first win in the 2024 season. Let's get a win. Titans on three, one, two, three. Sorry, right. sir. Why not us? Yes, sir. Let's be the best in the world today. Let's go Monday night. Take this out. Come on. Go, on three. One, two, three. Go, And here we go, Monday night football. Huntley looking. Sacked! Harold Landry. Kick on the way. Good! Again, he's got it all night. Nick Folk, the Titans at the half. Nine, the Dolphins three. We're gonna give it to Pollard, patiently running. Here he goes, 40, 30, Pollard 20, Pollard 10, and Pollard will be taken out of bounds. Spears around right in. There's nobody there. Just the green, green grass of the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Huntley. out to his right. He's under pressure. Throws it away in the end zone. Intentional grounding offense number 18. The foul occurred in the end zone. It is a safety. Give Pollard around right in. Trying to score. Pollard dives. He's in there! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Titans! Oh, yes! The 30-point streak <laughs> is yes! broken! Brian Callahan has his first win as Tennessee Titans head coach. Oh man, uh, fantastic. Just a chance to get a win on Monday Night Football. Needed it bad. Place to start. You're the head coach of an NFL football team. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel real yet. Right? And it doesn't. That's the question. Has this yeah. sunk in that the last 24 ish hours have actually happened and you are now stepping into this role? Yeah, I, don't, I have not been able to really process all of it. And the fact that we're in my living room with a camera talking about it just feels even stranger. Who was your first phone call? Oh, my wife. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. She was by far the first. That was the first one. Um, she was not expecting it, nor was I. I wasn't expecting it either. But that was a that was a really cool moment um, to be able to show because she's been through all of this and the moves and the back and forth and uh, new job here, new job here. That part, you know, I'm gone a lot. I work a lot. She's got the kids all the time, and so for her to be able to share some of that joy was was a pretty awesome moment. And then obviously right after that, I called my parents and. Those are my first two phone calls when I, after I got the job. Is the, the most important people to me are my my family and uh, my mom and dad. Yeah. Everything felt right. The relationships felt right. The energy felt right. Uh, and when I was walking around the building, uh, it was an incredible feeling. It felt like a family. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. What's up, man? What's up, man? You, look, you, you pulled it off. I tried. I tried. <laughs> you pulled it off. 
How are you? Welcome, man. Oh, feels good to be here. Man, glad to have you. Yeah. You know that. Hello. This is Allison. Nice to find nice to meet you. you. This is Nora. You want to say hi to Rain? Finally warmed up and he's a maniac. Yeah, bud. Oh, are you gonna? Are you leading the way? He's the line leader. He's the line leader. Look at this. This is my office. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? Do you want to go look at the look at the fields? Yeah. Go check them out. Look, man, we're going to take you take you guys show around. Yeah, great. Just let the kids see. <laughs> Pretty much all the coaches are down this hall. That's yeah. what you said. That's what you said. <laughs> there you go. It's nice. It's open. It was just open. Uh, feels great. Feels great. I'm uh, I'm excited. I feel like I need to start working right now. This all this other stuff. I'd rather just be watching some right. watching some tape right now. Ready to roll. I'd like to introduce the head coach of the Tennessee Titans, Brian Callahan. Pretty surreal moment for me to be a head coach at the highest level, to be this franchise's head coach uh, is, an, is a great responsibility and an incredible honor. What does this win do for not only the team but also the, the program and the style and everything you're trying to build within the 2024 Tennessee Titans and it's, it validates our process. You know, there's always a point where uh, the wins need to come because they want to make, you, you want the guys to feel like what we're doing is right, and, and I believe it. Um, I believe that all, all through the process that we're doing things the right way, our players do things the right way. I love our locker room. Um, everything about them is, is what you want, and it's really hard when you have all that but you don't have any wins to show for it. So it was a really big moment for us to get the first one, and sometimes you just got to get that first one off your back. You know, that, that zero in the win column looks pretty poor sometimes and um, you just got to find a way to get in the winning column and get back to playing the football that I know we're capable of and uh, it's a really big moment for us and it's a chance to get us right back in it. The whole league's in, in, a, in a weird spot, you know, it's a bunch of two and two and one and threes and um, you know, we're just going to keep fighting every week and the best thing we can do is try to win the next game and that's all we worry about. Welcome back to this special Titans All Access. When the team planned the Titans Foundation Dinner, no one knew that Brian Callahan planned to announce his 2024 captains that night. Mike, as host of the event, when did you know? They told me the day of the event, and I really had no idea how Brian wanted to play it. But I knew it would be really special, a special moment for the fans in attendance and for the players themselves. You know I like a plan, <laughs> but I was sure willing to wing it with Brian on stage for that event. Well, the crowd was shocked. The players may have been even more shocked. It did work out beautifully. <laughs> it did. And here's Brian Callahan at the Titans Foundation Dinner, surprising everyone in attendance by announcing his 2024 team captains. Hi there, hi there. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good. Nice to see you. Nice event. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't know what to expect when I walked in. I was like, oh, you got it, man. Nice meeting you. Favorite player I've ever coached? Woo. Uh, there's been some good ones. The fan base here has been really, really fun to get to know and like how much they love the team and how important it is to the people here. It's Let's now welcome to the stage your new head coach of the Tennessee Titans, Brian Callahan. You wouldn't just tell us, I mean, who the captains are going to be, would you? I might be able to do that, yeah. Seriously? Yeah, we might be able to do that. I figure we're in a place where we're with the leaders of, of, of our community and, and leaders of uh, our business, and I think what a cool moment to be able to, to show those guys and the chance to recognize them in front of all the people that wait are here minute. today. Wait a minute, do the players know? They do not. 
So we're going to spill the beans right here. Yes, we are. You're not messing with me. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That would hurt so much. I wouldn't do that to you. Okay. It was really cool to see uh, what, what our team thought of the leaders that they chose to lead them. And, uh, but the second part of it is, and I told our team today, that just because we have five captains doesn't mean that, that we don't need leadership from the rest of the group. And there's a lot of guys in our team that are excellent leaders and that will continue to be excellent leaders for us. I love what our, our locker room is about right now. And so um, I would like you guys to, to give it up for our first captains here. I'll announce the first one. Uh, on defense, our first captain is going to be number 56, Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray, come on up here. And number 79, Lloyd Cushenberry. Oh. Number 46, Morgan Cox. Oh. Pretty much a unanimous vote um, across the team. Uh, our quarterback, number eight, Will Levis. Oh. The foundation of what it means to be a Tennessee Titan. Number 98, Jeff Simmons. Oh. Welcome back to Titans All Access from the Bet MGM studio. Would you like to watch some of Brian Callahan's first team meeting? Hmm. Well, maybe yeah. you would. We'd like to show <laughs> you more than we've gotten to show you before. I was waiting for the more. We more. had a chance to be in the room here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park when Brian addressed the team at the beginning of the offseason program in April. The coach laid out his visions for what he hopes to build with the Tennessee Titans. We invite you to see what it was like in Brian Callahan's first team meeting from the spring. Plus, experience the young coach with his club on the practice field on this edition of Titans All Access. More fellas. How are we doing? Good. I'd like to welcome everybody back. Some welcome here, right? 2024 Tennessee Titans. I've been dreaming about this moment for myself, selfishly, for a really long time. To be able to stand up here in front of a football team and be called the head coach is a great moment for me. Should be a great moment for you, right? This is an exciting time. We got a lot of new things, a lot of new faces, and a lot of familiar ones, right? A lot of guys you know, a lot of people you know. Everything should be pretty familiar and comfortable. We'll get to know each other as it goes on. If we're talking about culture, everyone talks about culture, right? Everybody brings it up. We talk about it all the time. You hear it all over the place. What is culture? At its, at its bare minimum, it's condition, specific conditions that encourage growth. Because what, what are we all trying to do here? We're trying to get better. We're trying to improve. We're trying to be a better version of ourselves tomorrow than we were the day before. Our mission, our team, and our teammates come first. All right, that's our that's the starting point of our culture. You guys good with that? TV's like a kid that never had. So he goes he goes in and he free. I have two. Give me two of them. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Hey, keep it up, Tom. You just needed one play. Just needed one play. I don't know if I can put it into words for you. Um, it's it feels great. Um, I, most importantly, because our guys deserve it. Um, these guys work hard. They practice hard. They do everything right. The way our guys practice and focus is is fantastic. And to be short on these couple games to start was disappointing. Um, so for them, they deserve it. It feels great. It's good to see some smiles, some energy. Um, and I thought we played a really good game tonight. I'm a huge fan of Steve Kerr, right? The head coach of the Golden State Warriors. He had two quotes that are very similar, but I thought they were worth sharing. What culture means to me is what the players feel when they enter the building every day. What do they experience? What's the vibe in the building? What that is? That's the culture. And then lastly, I'll put this up at the end of every presentation. All right, hunt together. Hunting at the same time isn't the same as hunting together. Right? And whenever you guys step in this building, whenever we step on that field, right, we're gonna hunt together. That's me, that's you, that's our staff, that's our scouting staff, that's everyone in this building, right? We're hunting together. It's about what we do. It's about how we do it. And we're gonna hunt together. So every time you see that, that's what it should resonate with you. That when, we're, when we get out there together, we're together. We're not just out there. We're hunting together. You guys with me? All right, that's all I got. Let's get the day started, man. Can't wait. We work like that. We're surprised a lot of people. That I can guarantee because what wins in the NFL is work. If you work, you win. That's how it works, period. And I love the way you guys practice. It's fantastic. Great energy down there. Great competition. You guys love competing. That is the kind of practice that wins you football games. You guys with me on that? Yes, sir. That was fantastic. I love the competition. You know what? It got hard, right? It got hard. We went seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 plays on some of those drives. It was hard. 
but we're gonna play. We played football today, and I love the way you guys came out. I love it on both sides. I love it. So that's the kind of thing that wins this game. All right, keep grinding through it. This is where teams separate themselves. This is where you get better as a team when you fight through these hard days. All right, guys, kind of your reps go up. You might have an injury or two. Guys, got to step up. Right, that's football. That's that's that the whole season is. So when you get opportunities, make the most of them and fight through the hard. I promise we'll be better for it in the long run. Right, can we do it again tomorrow? Can we stack days with the same energy and same focus? Right, how good can we be in September? We got to get all the work in now to get to that point. So let's work together. That's great today. Great. Jeffrey Simmons, get us in a break. Me, my three, one, two, three, two. You're going to see something fast in the next segment. Brian Callahan is involved. He doesn't know this. Oh, what? You didn't tell me well, this. Well, we won. We're going to have oh. some fun. Enjoy the Seat Geek sound. Oh, you got mic'd up. Got me. No, really? Tell people, bro. So you go to De La Salle with Brian Callahan. I did. Oh, God. I know you never thought, well, Brian's going to be an NFL head coach. And Welcome back to Titans All Access from the Bet MGM Studios. Brian Callahan is a young head coach, but he's hardly an inexperienced football coach. Brian has been doing this for a long time. His dad may have been a coach, but Brian didn't start with a glamorous first job in the coaching business. He covered that with Amy in their first interview in Cincinnati. And the experience he describes still informs how he works with players today as the head coach of an NFL team. Probably the most foundational, influential part of my early journey was coaching a bunch of 14-year-olds. I was the freshman offensive coordinator. Patrick Walsh is a head coach at Sarah High School, and he's one of my mentors. He coached me at De La Salle High School when I was in high school. He said, I got a job for you. And I said, I, I need a teaching job. I can't just coach football. I need, to, I need to work at the school. So I get a job at the school, and he says, well, only job I have for you coaching is the freshman offensive coordinator. After playing Division I football and being a graduate assistant, that was a little bit of a humbling offer. That was the only offer I had, was to go be the freshman football coach. When you get a bunch of 14-year-olds that probably have never put shoulder pads on, don't know how to buckle their helmet, it really makes you refine how you teach, how you communicate with how your kids, how clearly you tell them what to do. And so it really changed the whole foundation of what I what coaching is for me. As you come out of that, think a little more width yeah. and try to get more, more red line landmark because there's still going to be a post safety there get it up and down. These bolt routes, work them like Aggie, inside out. So kind of second hitch out to the bolt, let them come out of it. Working inside out, seam back out to the bolt. So the timing's right. So when you get to the top of that break, think of it like you're trying to cross somebody up. It helps the quarterback know what you're gonna do. And as you get to the top, bang, bang, lower your, lower your center of gravity, and like you're gonna cross somebody over and then break. We have a lot of work ahead of us still. And we need the Tennessee fans to show up strong when we start in September. When you agree on a common idea and work towards it together, uh, you can create something very special. And that's what I believe in. That's what we'll do here. Um, that to me is, is what this is all about. And there is no ability to have success without those principles. Caleb Williams takes a knee. They have beaten the Titans at Soldier Field. We're, I thought we were in a good place and we had a chance to win this game. Bad taste in your mouth, really disappointed. But I think we got to we got to find a way to rebound and get ready for our home opener. And the Titans are going to lose for the second week in a row by a 24 to 7 team count. I believe in our team. I believe in our guys. I believe in, in the way they work. I believe in what they're made of. Um, and those things to me is, is it's going to come. It's going to come. And not to we're not going to give up. We played not even close to our best football, and so we're going to keep going. We welcome in head coach Brian Callahan. You can't get too high. You can't get too low. You've got to keep an even keel. Yep. How do you model that for your team in the way that you coach and the way that you prepare? I just try to be as consistent as I can with the message after a game. But it doesn't change because we've lost or it doesn't change because we've won. Um, that when they walk in the building every Monday and every Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, uh, they know exactly what I'm going to be like. So you have to really fight against riding the up and down emotions of what what an NFL season can feel like. Um, and we can be critical, uh, both in wins and losses. You're critical where critical is worthy, and, and you're, you praise where praise is worthy. And there's, that's every week in the NFL. And uh, you just have to keep finding ways to try to be on the winning side of it. It's a lot easier to do it that way. Here's what we have to do better. Here's why. Here's where we could have lost the game if we won. We haven't won yet. We will. It feels good, man. 
feels good. I'm proud of the effort. We knew what type of game it was going to be. It was going to be physical. It was going to be bloody. You guys set the tone. And look, there's more to come now. That ain't it. That ain't it. So I appreciate your effort. I'm proud of you guys, man. You guys deserve it. You work your ass off. You practice your ass off. You've deserved to win for a bunch of weeks now, and we finally got it done. We're going to keep rolling. Keep believing in each other. Keep believing in what we're doing. And I promise you, this won't be the last one. Here's what I'll tell you, fellas. It's a hell of a job. We all know that there's plenty of things to clean up when you win or you lose. It's all the same, right? It's all the same. There's definitely things that we need to do better in all three phases, right? And we have to clean those things up. And at the end of the day, have we have we won anything but one game? That's it, right? We gave, we gave ourselves a great chance to go win. We went 1-0 this week. You guys do everything you were asked to do. Every goal on both sides, really all three phases, I think we checked almost every box on how we were going to win the game. So that's a hell of a job. That's executing the plan. That's practicing the right way, right? That's how you win. That's how you win. All right, but the main key is we're on a mission right now, right? And we got some confidence, and you guys did a great job doing everything we've asked you to do. Enjoy yourselves. Take some time. All right, and I'll see you guys when you get back uh, on Monday morning. That's all I got. We hope that you've enjoyed seeing more of our behind the scenes opportunities on this special Titans All Access. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith, thanking you for watching and we'll see you next time. There's no more? No more. No more. All done.